Hello, everybody, and welcome to. Oh, that came up fast. Nico has not learned a thing. I'm happy to have you here on time. That being said, hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. We are causing quite a number of issues on the pirate homeworld. And I'm not entirely sure, but we might kick Ridley's butt today. I don't know for certain. I don't remember how much is left in this place. I'm the thing, but I don't even remember where we really saved either. Um. Okay. Weird. Harvesting. Ah. That's right. We started to do some stuff. And then. Samus, the Federation Armada is not. We're ready yes, for the final yes. assault. But the base. We need you to by barrier. You need me to disable the base. Control the coordinate. center. Coordinates. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So. That's right. We got the Nova Beam. And then. Essentially turned right back around because it was. Time. I just drain the shield? I can't. No. Drains him, huh? These are the funny guys that I can just zap in the face. Is this... Have I dead-ended myself? Um... Yeah, I guess... Ah! Hey, let me up. I don't remember what this room was, but... See now. That's where we got the Nova Bee. Now, progression takes place once again. Let's, let's just dispatch the little guys. All Metroids can't really stand up to plasma beams. And I'm just fine with that. Uh, so this puts us at what, 140 missiles? Yeah, look at that. Keep track of my inventory. Uh, Brio Falls. Command has received disturbing reports from Brio. Contact with our outpost there has been terminated. A coded blip trans showing Commander Rundus falling in battle to Samus has arrived. 
First of all, the Brionian seed has been demolished. The hunter's might is great, and she is she is as efficient as ever when it comes to disrupting our operations. Our spies within the Federation tell us she travels to Elysia soon. We plan on having an appropriate welcome welcoming party in place for when she arrives. Commander Gore is a very accommodating host. Now these guys think they got jokes or something. Uh, walls composed of phase light. Advanced visor tech should be used to detect any objects in the site. Which apparently there are no objects inside it. It's just uh, it's just a solid wall. Where are we? This landing bay. Landing bay all covered in slag. Which gives me the pleasure of melting it all. Charge chart will just instantly melt all this stuff. Or at least melt enough of it that I can call the ship. Now let's see. Let's get this out of here, make it nice and clean. I mean, I guess I can kind of just go straight to the command center now. I didn't have the Nova Queen before. So this goes back to Pirate Command. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I just... I guess I just circle back around. Man, a few more rooms and I've just had the ship save at instead of saving at the side station. Oh, well. Got to show off the X-Ray Nova Beam combo and fry some pirates. Worth it in my mind. Alright. We're practically in the fusion suit now. With how blue it's getting. So, let's... Let's get out of here. Head back over to a different section of the planet and see what kind of new havoc we can cause with the green beam. There, that's better on my end. Hope the uh, hope the game sounds all right for you guys too. This is the first. I don't. I know. Plasma and Super Metroid is green. I think if you don't have Ice Beam equipped anyway. Not entirely sure, because I've never really had it equipped without um. Words without Ice Beam. We're headed to the top. See, the pirates have yet to invest in any sort of elevator music. For whatever stupid reason. So... No, because that leads to the sea. That's why I can't get through there. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. No, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see where I need to go. I need to go down the floor. That's where the Nova Beam gets me. Let's me slip through all of their nonsense now. Oop. I love the little pop. 
until I got shot. I was like, why am I saying 10 health from already? And... It, it's showtime. I'll take this. I'll take that too. Okay, that thing was way tougher than it had any right to be. Granitic mass, fierce resistant, normal attacks, it could probably be overloaded with phase on energy. Okay, so as I suspected, that is a um, hyper voltage thing. Meaning I can't do anything about it right now. Ever. This is the room I need to be in to handle everything my little gremlin hands can. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. shooting at me. It's not going to end well for you, I promise. Alright, so missiles not the best way to take out turrets. Yeah, there was a guy up here. I know there was. I saw him. idea where he went though. What's this? Uh, energy lock active. Powered by an energy core. Defense system generator online. What is that? Defense shield online and preventing the Federation from beginning their assault. Uh, terminal connected to energy core shields. Alright, well... guy and this one. There we go. Uh, playing this kind of game, huh? I'm the whole way back up to the top of the room anyway, so... We're just gonna do it this way. Quit bouncing around. Jeez, you think these guys have never fought a Samus before? Alright, there we go. Can I scan this? This actually has information. Uh, core is vulnerable to attack. Ah, we just have a room of infinitely spawning pirates waiting to be. Deaded. Don't 
know what the little oranges are, but I'm gonna break them. Uh, I don't see the other guy. Presumably I'll find him later. Oh, there he is. Disable the defense system's defense system. Now, let us go and give these clowns the baddest of days. Now, we're just gonna overload this whole shebang. Shame they could never configure that thing to uh, deal with the acid rain. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Alright, you missed one. There you go. Look at that. Look at all them guys. May or may not have caused some slight issues. Darn. Alrighty, so. Does this mean I can go to the seed now? Can I go and fight the thing? Outstanding job, Samus. I knew the Federation could count on you. Thanks. I've given the order to begin the invasion. I noticed. I'm headed down there with the troops. All Maybe right. at these coordinates. Oh, where are we? What, where, who, what? Oh, yeah, sure. I was on my way there anyway. Um... What is the quickest and easiest way? No, just keep going. Keep going down here, okay. We'll hit up the elevator. Head back up to the top. Once we're up there, I'm going to make myself as much of a nuisance as possible. Boy, oh boy. Anyone? Anyone want to try? No? It's quiet this time? Huh, <laughs> you thought you could sneak up on me. Um, uh, no. I was hoping there'd be some crates or something I could smack for health. damaging things, that's just slop. So used to nonsense like that being damaging or corrosive or something. Hey, you think you guys can get this door open for me? Say this often, but I sure am impressed. Hey, thanks. That said, you've still got work to do. Up ahead is the pirate cargo line that leads to the sea. There's a large security door located at the end. There's a large security door located right there. Four demolition troopers are needed to open the final door, so you need to make sure enough of them make it safely through this oh, area. Oh God, I forgot about this. You are the only one who can destroy the sea. We'll help along the way. Once we get there, it's up to you to finish the job. We're right behind you, Samus. Do some damage. 
Ah, I forgot there was an escort mission involved in this. Less than thrill, I will I will say that much. Yeah, yep, yep, destroyed by the Federation. Demo troopers. Alright, what can we learn about these guys? Not especially combat savvy and often rely on others to cover them in battle. They are outfitted with explosive weaponry for special missions. And the only way to the objective is straight through everything these the troopers in this unit are called pawn to make it happen. While capable of destroying the strongest barriers, these troopers are not as capable in combat as traditional marines. Yeah, that's the problem. Couldn't you give me, like, a dozen more guys? Huh? Okay. Thanks for the escort mission, Admiral Dane. Good luck. Yeah, I, you know, you got all these fancy ships in orbit, but I don't understand why you didn't just continue bombing things. Uh, yeah, sure, sacrifice some health to get in. All the other guys got in just fine. <laughs> And we're off. I already hate every second of this. Focus on me. No! Son of a bitch. Kamikaze bombed one of my dudes already. It was, it was, I, I forgot that arrow troopers were jerks on that level. This room is clear, at least. Go on ahead. We're right behind you. Dude, you should have just waited behind the whole time. Like, yeah, I know you guys are, are troops of a fashion, but you're literally just putting yourself in harm's way by coming with me. No, stay behind, stay behind! Oh, they're too dumb to live. Oh, 
Yep. Yeah. It'll also take your attention. Luckily, the Nova Beam does like a whole bunch more damage. At least not every room is a freaking get ten dudes through thing. And there's a decent amount of pickups along the way, at least. No. That is the second best use of the X-Ray Nova Beam combo. Versus the freaking Metroid Hatchers. Who's next? Who's next? You. Got uh, ten dudes left. I guess that's enough. I guess this is the end. It seems way easier than I remember it being. Yeah, you guys might want to get away from all those explosives. get the uh, fancy token because two of them died, but uh, you know what, we'll take that. Got through in the first try, that's all that matters. Alright, let's do this. Oh, the commandos are literally the easiest part. I can, I can just one-shot the commandos. I'm just gonna take a second to, uh... Sit in the soup. Recharge a wee bit. What, what are we... What are we missing here? There's the lore hidden. Mistress Gandrea. Mistress Gandreda is the last of our leader's field commanders. We hope that she will succeed where the others have not. We hope that she will slay the wretched hunter. Gandreda tests our metal often. She moves among us in our form, watching us, looking for signs of weakness. Several unfaithful disciples have been ended violently. Those who, su those who survive will be stronger, ready for the hunter that comes for them from the void. Gandreda has vowed to present Aaron's bloody helmet to Dark Samus as tribute. We hope she fulfills that vow. Ah, guys. 
I'd love to be the one to tell you this, but she failed. Ha 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 ha. That's already been used in his offline. What? Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, what do we got in here? Looks like some kind of hangar? Some kind of docking bay? Got a big door here. Uh, Leviathan access point sealed. Scans detect high amounts of maldium in the transit doors. If I had, if I were to keep up with reading the extra notes in this game, I would know what that means. Uh, shutter's currently closed. Operate the control panel. Ah, the big boy. He got the drop on me. Finally get to know what you are. Pirate Commander where wears red phasite assault armor, resistant to most weaponry. Commanders make heavy use of their personal teleporter, moving to favorable positions and across the battlefield, giving orders and support as needed. They carry all the weaponry and gear used by commandos, with the exception of their armor, which is forged out of ultra-rare red phasite. A rare breed, Pirate Commanders have lived to rise to the ruling caste on the Pirate Homeworld. Each has been a commando for at least 10 years. Hey, hey. Oh, I don't like you. Like, I can't. Lock on in this room is horrible. Okay. Where did you come from? ham on the whole phase on cult thing didn't they yeah well i mean i guess if you're gonna if you're gonna set up a cult you should go all the way or not at all but still freaking annoying okay anything else here no uh operates ceiling shutters
There we go. So now I believe I believe the play here is we make a the big boomba. I just locked no, okay. Alright. Now I believe this will actually finally let us into the seed. Yeah, that checks out. A save point right before I go in for the fun. Transit tunnel leads to the sea. Electric rails prevent travel by foot. The ship could fit inside the tunnel. Uh, I mean, it's probably for the best I don't travel down there on foot. Nothing good would come from that. Okay. To the seed we go. And what kind of trouble can we get into down here? Yeah, these guys really had that uh, locked down pretty strongly. And here we are. I don't think there's anything new worth scanning in this seed. It doesn't look like it. Uh, the scanner, re the, the radar registers enemies literally everywhere because this place is just incredibly freaking hostile. What is that? Tentacle's hide is durable. Scans the tech and interior weakly. Use of advanced spies are suggested. Oh, jeez, it kicked me straight out of the out of the visor too. Ooh, I can hear it squishing. All right, here we are. There he is. There's the supreme jerk. Asshole in the entire series. Yeah, I see that fancy weak point you're sporting. Right. Uh, Omega Rig. Armored plating protects body. Fires plasma attacks from mouth. Revived and regenerated through phase on exposure, Omega Ridley has been energized to a new combat threat level. Target retains extremely durable phase on enhanced armor skin, as well as a protective armor plating. Scans indicate that a recent injury has not fully healed. Expose and target wound to inflict damage. Target will act to protect its vulnerability. Seek ways to stun the enemy and leave it open for deadly attacks. Wow, Ridley, what a surprise. I know, who could have seen it coming?
I'd say that's some good news. Yeah, so like in the beginning of the game, you gotta shoot him in the mouth to stun him. Then once he's stunned, you can actually hurt him. Ooh, how did he do that? Phaseite armor now covering cardiac region. Armor is invulnerable, but internal joints seem to be. Alright, so I think I have to. Ow. I think I still have to stun him and then. Stun him and then take out the joints of the armor. Yeah, we got a headache now. His armor now. Now the soft underbelly is always exposed. Problem is armor destroyed. Cardiac region now exposed. Vulnerable to phase on energy. The problem is trying to stun it now. Hyper missiles made short work of you, bud. I'd say do me a favor and stay gone, but we both know you're not capable of that. shape now. Pretty bad shape. That is, it is definitely not some sort of magic space tumor. It is nothing to be concerned about. Please ignore the fact that it has gone from gray and orange to basically completely blue. It is nothing Nothing of concern. 
Oh, it's just called, called hypergraph, not hypervoltage. Yeah, close enough. Alright, where's the thing? tries to make me a guardian. At least I'm assuming that happens at this point. I don't know for certain. Or we're just going to compound phase on overloads. Until we have the core. Why can't I be floaty and awesome all the time? Goodbye. It's fine and normal to have blue gunk in your soul. I thought that was just called depression. Because I think I know a lot of people with that. Unless you mean a very specific blue gum in your soul, in which case, yeah, it's probably, it's probably fine. There we go. Wait, no. I want to go back. There are things to explore down there. You have successfully destroyed the last remaining seed as detected by our systems. Hey. The spread of phase on corruption has been stopped. This is a great day for the Federation. Good, However, good. There is one more mission to complete. Yeah? Skytown's Aurora Unit 217 reports that it has discovered the origin of the Leviathan attacks. Oh, good. It appears that this is where Dark Samus and her main pirate force are stationed. Destroying them will require a full-scale attack. Okay, well, no big deal. This location is so far away, it cannot be reached by conventional space travel. We must instead create a wormhole to reach it. Okay, so you know what you need to do? Do it. The pirates have constructed a Leviathan battleship, which is in orbit around this planet. If we can board this battleship, we may be able to force it to open the wormhole. Um, how, we can't even get there without the wormhole. How? Large how? energy surges consistent with the warp device are traveling between the pirate's planet and the Leviathan battleship. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll... are using this warp that'll device to link to the ship. Metroid Prime 3, Depression. I mean, it is. Think of all the friends Samus loses in this. We will upload the coordinates of this device to you now. Okay. Yeah, uh, that was... My next intention was to go there anyway. Okay, so... One of these is uh no, that's not what I want. No, we don't need battle mode. Here it is. The health scanner. Uh, so every time you destroy seed, uh, Samus gets more corrupted, and I haven't been checking the scanner at all, but the that thing on the left, that scan gets worse, and the phase on level goes up. Uh, but like I said, haven't been checking it necessarily. Um, so one more that we don't have the information for... 
and two more on the other planets. Okay, I want to... Now I'm just sad about the other bounty hunters again. Sorry, Ozzy. Um, okay. So we're going to head back down to the Pirate Home World, do all that stuff. Before we head back to the other two planets for a final pass through. Uh, find the last two energy cells and then do the Valhalla. Or other three planets, I guess. No. I think one of them's on Norian. I don't think I have to go back to Elysia. We'll find out eventually. Okay, so... The Federation has a foothold on the planet now. I mean, I still... Like, I still gotta worry about pirates, but not... Not as much as before. So we're going to head up to the second floor. Return to the command center. Break through that phase on growth. Despair in our practically entirely blue suit. Another transit station. So this one does not have a save room. So this is the hidden after seed portion of this world. And I always forget that this suit actually has a component on the back. I always forget that it's not just the weird place on the shoulders. But so we've been through the other transit stations. Now it's time to sneak down to the funny little one. Besides, I know one bounty hunter that you will get to see again someday. Silex. Or at least he should be in Metroid Prime 4. Maybe. If it ever comes out. I still hope. I don't want to be proven wrong. And here we are. I know they had to start over, but I have to wonder how many times they had to start over. Because it seems like they've restarted it three times at this point. The fact that there was a team working on it and then they restarted it for Retro. And then Retro's like just now hiring people is concerning. Energy Shield Online blocking access to the portal, powered by a nearby device. Terminal is powering the Energy Shield covering the transportation portal. Okay. Not exactly the best security. There we go. Both of those are powered off. Let's go say hi. Primary warp system online. Access to orbiting Leviathan granted. Enter hologram to initiate warp. Well, okay. Ah, we got the full twisty again. Oh, they really did just... Okay. Portion of Leviathan's core and vulnerable to all weaponry. Nah, I bet if I went to hyper mode, I could give it a headache. 
fire with an optical organ. Target appears to be sensitive to any type of weapon fire. What do we have here? Control terminal commands the Leviathan. Operate terminal to gain control of the Leviathan. Oh, okay. Samus, it seems her man pose are needed to gain control of the Leviathan. Well, that's we not surprising. The abandoned ship Valhalla has not been fully explored. Well, no, of course not. It I didn't have enough cells. But it still holds the answer to some mysteries. Uh, we turn to the Valhalla and search for the command codes. Samus, we have received new data from AU217. Oh. A planet was detected at the epicenter from where the Leviathan telemetry originated. Okay. We have named this planet Phase. Yeah, good name as any. Retro Pesties Wars Prime 4. Soon, I hope. I don't know. Alright. So, we don't have the codes. The codes are probably on the Valhalla. Or, well, they are on the Valhalla. You need a certain amount of power cells to get to it. Which we do not have right now. Or, I don't know. You might have enough on of uh, enough power cells, honestly. I don't remember. Okay, so basically at this point it is scan the map for places I haven't been a clock. Any green doors, any cut off anything is okay so I think that outside of outside of the Leviathan we are done with the pirate home world it's time to go to a different planet. So, not 100% certain, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have Prime 3 wrapped up by the end of this month. We should probably figure out what I'm going to play next, but that's a problem for another day. kind of figured I should have just gone and started poking around the other planets, but no, I was too vain. I decided that I wanted to try and hijack the Leviathan right away. Right, it's fine. We're going to basically just go in order of the planets. Which means it's Norian first. Norian, then Brio, then Alicia, making our final, final collect-a-thon run. See if we can grab all the treats, or rather find what treats we can. A few energy tanks, a few... Actually, I might be missing a lot of missile packs. I don't know. I don't know what the missile cap for this game is. That suit is frighteningly blue. I can't even begin to imagine what Samus actually looks like under her suit right now. If the suit itself is so mucked up. Alright. Galaxy map. Um, oh, I don't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. No, it's not. It's not the right one. Damn it. Ah. Actually, I don't think I could even dock it. No, I could. Crap. 
Oh well, I'll figure it out once I get there and look at the map. Choo! Space is vast and empty. But if you don't pay attention to where you're going, bad things can still happen. All right, well, you know what? It's fine. There's still... There's still, like, a small handful of things on the planet for me to pick up. Where on earth... something up in where this morph ball tunnel goes. But I have no idea how... Oh, there it is. Thought maybe it came from another room for a second. It's starting to get worried. <laughs> Alright, so it's fine. So we'll do our final pass of everything and you know, get okay, get the last cells, pick up some pickups. Alright, there yeah, okay, there's nothing else down this tunnel. Just some dudes doing some work, trying to fix everything. <sighs> um. Oh, gonna, oh, okay. I just want to say, can I actually not go this way? a pick up down the center hallway as well. Now that leads to the command tower, which I have absolutely no reason to visit. Ice missile lock door for a missile pack. Two out of three remaining pickups. I think like one of the first times I came through here, on the like one of the very first times I played this, I think I basically just didn't come down here at all until I already had the Nova Beam and everything. So like I didn't even have to. I didn't think the Nova Beam would work for welding at first. I was concerned by that. There's really no reason to bother trying to fight them things. It's just a waste of time. Wait, into storage. What was. Okay, there's just some lore scans in here. Had to check, had to be sure. Okay. Yeah, there were some real nasty things in here, I remember that much. Uh, 
There we go. Let's get that open. And we're in something completely new. Locked and cannot be damaged by weapons. I don't know, have you seen my weapons? Well, that's all this then. Gyroscopic ring system offline. Part of an energy production unit. Appears to have been shut down. Whoa! now aha there's an energy cell that is the main reason to come down here Well, now that we've beaten another boss, if they can even still be called bosses, now that um, I can literally just one-shot them. Alrighty. Now I want to see... Dang, that was that one. Okay, so I have coordinates for one on Brio. I don't know where that last one is. And now we can leave. That's the only... Hey, there's an item out there. Okay, well... It's another energy cell. And, um, well, cool. I love the fact that this room is filled with ominous music now. We're gonna do the equivalent of fast travel to get to the other landing station. I'm not sure if it's actually faster or not, but I don't care. Uh, we need to go to docking station Alpha, find the item there, and then we're moving on to Brio. Plus, it's always nice to save after you pick something up. I don't actually remember an item. Over there. It's probably something... Probably something weird like ship missiles. Ooh, ship missiles. Need so many of those. I don't think there's any use for them. Uh, I didn't know that Norian had a different um, loading thing. Huh. Pretty neat getting to watch Samus just be poop in her shit. Oh, 
All right, so according to the map, it's off the map. According to the map, it is like back up there somewhere. Uh, so when in doubt, we're gonna whip out the scan visor and start having a look around. Oh, I doubt this should be saying anything worth scanning. Uh, GFS Enkidu, a Griffin class frigate. Most of the crew are on short leave. Uh, you know, it might be up the elevator. Might have to head off the lift. Or not. We're you know? in the middle of major repairs due to the... Okay, repairs. Yeah, yeah, understandable, but, uh... But you're hiding something out here. You're hiding something out here, and I want it. Don't know what it is. Gosh, it's like way, 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 way back behind things. Oh, what's this? Uh oh. Really? That's it? I don't think I ever knew about that. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Oh well, we got it. Time to go on. Ow. Ow. Okay. Quarter after six. Oh, that's uh, Dorian accounted for. Uh. All right, well, we'll start here. Check the map. We go from there. Just to be sure. kind of one of the most fun things about Metroid is going back and going through all the old areas a second time once you've got more powers and abilities, but I don't know. It was a little it felt a little less obtrusive in the 2D games. Look, there's a whole room I just haven't been in. Oh my god. Oh, there's a lot of rooms I just haven't been in. Holy crap. Damn, did I explore anything on this planet? Alright, well, uh... Let's 
let's go find us some things then, I guess. There is the first. First dot is in the next room. And I think I have a feeling what it is. Okay, well. If I can't just shoot him, then I don't care. Yes, but you put yourself literally in the worst possible place you could be. Oh yeah, because it's frozen over. Or so it claims. Well, we will just fix that real quick. Missiles. Okay, maybe it is. Maybe there are 250 in this game. Uh, okay, we head up. We head up this way first because it dead ends a lot quicker, and there's a couple things to grab. One might be an E tank, an energy tank, but I have a feeling they're both missile tanks because I'm missing a lot more of those. Uh, you know, I bet I bet somewhere on this planet is uh, ship missiles. Because, you know, those are relevant. Alright, so it says it's... There, it's up there. Okay, but like, how do I... Okay, but like, how, how, what? Yeah, okay, there's ice here, but breaking the ice has not done anything for me. I need to get up there so I can jump across, but... Am I missing something here? I am. I am. I did miss a thing. This is how you get across here. I don't know if I ever knew that either. I'm learning things today. Alright, there we go. Another... Another item. Ah, that would explain why I ignore this. A funny little rare guy. A gamer. Avoid contact with the spike shell. Spike shell of a gamer is rather durable and can only be destroyed by an explosive blast. While menacing in appearance, they are not aggressive scavengers that feed on the waste of other creatures. This food source has led them to being spreaders of many types of diseases. Oh, you funky little... thing, you. Okay. And that's it for this path, so we can go back. can 
actually do that just to make it a little bit easier to get back. Instead of swinging and, and more falling and jumping up and around things. Yeah, no. Enough out of you. I have gained 35 missiles since we started today. Alright, now... Uh, yeah, there's only one other doorway and that's the one I want. These dice missiles are still good for something. Alright, this is the... Yeah, this is the... Wrecked ship. Not double jump. Oh, almost had it. Yeah, not that bad. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if this is actually how I'm supposed what I'm supposed to be doing in here. Ah, made it. Ah, look at that. I could have gotten this literally forever ago. Ah, well. Oh, that's enough out of you. Stupid little energy... I don't remember what they're called. Okay. Uh, I guess I got to ride down the hard way. Alright, big guy, let's go. Ah, that's where the secret lies. And there is our expansion. So many missiles in today's economy. So I need to get up to the ramp first. No, not enough height. Unable to open from the outside. Yeah, I 
didn't. Huh. Strange. This just why is this cubby hole? What is this cubby hole? Okay, I might actually need to land the ship over in this section and then make my way over through here, honestly. Is there, oh my god, there are three... There's two items and two doors in here. But I cannot... Okay, I, I do... Okay. I'm not a fan of the fact that that's set up that way, honestly. What do we got here? An energy tank. All right, then. All right. Let's. Deal with some of these stupid bugs ahead of time. So we can get to the landing site. Actually, there is an area that I haven't been through over here yet. I might not need to use the ship after all. I might just be able to sneak on. Surprise none of this showed up on the map. Oh. Well, we have some interesting things in here now, don't we? Ow. No. Fargo Hatcher, able to jam incoming missiles. Mouth is vulnerable to attack. Fargo Wasp, protective of parent bioform, capable of self destruct. Alright, well. Let's. Still alive. Apparently, that thing's resilient. Open up. 
open wide. Now... Jump dash to the wrong side, and I fell off. This thing is ridiculously resilient. Finally. What is this? Security clamp. Cold base weapon ring could destroy the clamp. So eh, interesting. I have a feeling that won't last forever, but interesting, interesting. There's an item up there. Seal. And we'll get that seal. There we go. There we go. Now we can get some more floor. Uh, victory. We, the Lords of Science, mishandled the use of our knowledge. The devastation of the war robbed us of the rare resources necessary to fuel our war engines. Without our machines, we were unable to stand up to the primal armies, and they overran the enclaves of many science lords. What few remained fled into dark places, polluted wastelands even the bravest of primal warriors would not dare enter. Whatever joy there may have been amongst the victorious was quickly stamped out by the grim reality surrounding them. Brio, their cradle, their sacred home, was on the verge of death. Yeah, well, sort of what happens whenever you go hog wild on... Civil War. Ooh. It appears to be some kind of ancient rail system. I'm already noticing that the, uh, these golems are themed after whatever you need to do to awake, uh, not awaken them, um, unlock them. Yeah, unlock the word. Where yeah, I'm glad they put all that, all of those obnoxious, uh, things that can damage you right at the beginning. So they put that kind of thing at the end. Where it was possible to fall off. Or rather not fall off, I guess. Oh my god, really? A double bomb jump on a spider ball track. Now I've seen it all. Man, these guys are so cool. You need to replay me some primes. You definitely should. 75% of all pickups acquired. Special ending unlocked. Complete the game to view this ending. I have no idea what this ending could be. up in here, allegedly. My brain is ping-ponging between multiple interests at any given time. Boy, do I feel that. It's one reason why I can't... It's 
one reason why I have trouble writing half the time. Because I just go, man, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. And then I can never figure out which one to start with. And therefore, nothing gets done. Ha 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 ha. That's narrow. Okay, now. That might not even be in the same room. Aha, it's not. Let's take me back to the hidden court. I don't care about the soup. The soup does not bother me. I am impervious to soup. Brionians sure were fans of their double bomb jumps. I am not a fan of their double bomb jumps. Okay, but that time I was too close. Oh. Ah, got it. Okay, there we go. The struggle is real. Alright, um... Oh man, can I actually get back? Go back to that other. Go back to that other. In a few minutes. There is more nonsense to explore here. Oh, that's a big boy. Cage and vulnerable. Giant impact probably shatter and destroy the bars. Flap stones appear invulnerable. A giant impact can crush the debris. Oh yeah. Colossal war golems use their size to crush puns. Appears a piece appears to be missing. Hey look, a lore! Decline. Forgotten in exile, a creature of myth, I, the last lord of science, worked tirelessly to protect myself in this world. I crafted magics and machines to bring life back to the wastelands. I found a new source of natural energy in the land and called it Fuel Gel. I vowed to atone for the devastation inflicted upon Brio, caused by both science and war. Yet, while I toiled, the primal slowly slipped into barbarism. With no science lords to hunt, they turned on each other, tribe against tribe. Magic was lost to them, and they became as savage as the predator beasts of the wild. Okay, so... Huh. So I need something big and heavy to 
turn on the war golem. And by that I mean I need the war golem's head. Which is easier said than done because I A have no idea where it's at. And B, even once I do find it, it means I don't even have to count now. It means a lot of backtracking is going to be necessary. So we're gonna well, I mean, I know at the very least that it has to be somewhere in this section of the planet because I have to be able to get to it with have to be able to get to it with the ship or without the ship carrying anything. Could literally just screw attack across, but I mean beggars shouldn't be choosers. There we go. There's another thing. still a pickup in here. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, no, okay. I uh, thought that was a smaller tunnel than it actually was. Don't tell me. showing it like right inside the thing there oh it's an energy cell I need that If I can just I was gonna try I was trying to screw attack across, I promise. Let's, let's. See, it says like a battery was taken out or something, but... Okay, like I literally, I can't do anything. Have I screwed up getting this? I can't now. There has to be some way to get it still. You know, let's. 
Let's continue our explorations for now. Yeah, we'll continue on poking around. And presumably something will come up. figure it out then. Keep you indeed. Salvation. The great machines of the Science Lords perform flawlessly. They absorb the toxins and pollution in the air and soil, preserving the remaining fertile land of Brio. Yet the planet's climate was forever changed, leaving the one side eternally scorched by the sun, the other forever in the icy grasp of darkness. The launch of the machines revealed the hidden enclave of the Science Lords to their former enemies. The bright lights in the skies caused by the decontamination equipment stirred old hatred in the heart of the Primals. Fearing a new attack, the Primals sent their warriors forth to hunt their hate hated foes, who were now marked for death. Jeez. So their war was so intense that it literally stopped the rotation of the planet. That's insane to think about. Come on. Yeah, there you go. You got this ship. Get that giant hunger crud out of here. The planet's rotation comes to a halt. This will affect the economy. I I fail to I fail to see the significance of that. I don't I don't understand how could such a disaster have any effect on the economy the strongest economy ever all right uh, there's another missile X pack and it, it, I mean it literally just looks like the other item is another missile expansion down in the slot. Alright. Uh, so sloppy. Alright, but at least now we have the golem head to go and put on the giant war golem. Kind of have to do now because I can't get in the ship otherwise. More fault tunnels? No. <sighs> Large battery appears to have been removed from it. And yet I can see the power cell from here. tunnels. Uh, struggle of Exiles. As the followers of the primal tradition celebrated their victory, a number of surviving science lords gathered in a hidden sanctuary. It was there that our foolishness became obvious, and we regretted ignoring the Chozo's warning. We realized the folly of following the ways of science with blind faith, and the peril of Albrio. The contamination left from the battles was spreading, and the world would, and would soon scour the remaining fertile lands, leaving naught but ash. If left unaided, Brio would lose what few saved lands and water remained. Once more, our great minds turned to a grand task, planetary salvation. As our enemies searched lands for us, the last lords of science, we created our final machines and launched them into the heavens. Now, those were the decontamination machines mentioned in the other lore we just found. 
Alright. Uh, no pill lock. So now we have to hop up plants again. Tada. Don't mind me, just clearing the room very game. Alright, as I was saying. There we go. We're just gonna down. Hi, buddy. Thank you. War Golem has expelled remaining energy reserves. Unit is permanently offline. Oh, darn. Hooray, one more ship missiles. We have a total of six ship missiles. I have no idea what this room is. This is the Machine Works Bridge, and it is apparently the connection between this area, between these two areas, I see. Okay, but I still need to figure out how to get the power cell out of the hidden fort. Data indicates energy cell is connected to hidden fuel gel pumping station. System controls rotation of walkway. So, in other words, I can't can't deal with it from this side. You have to come at it from both sides. Gotcha. jump back to the I'm gonna run over to this hangar bay and we're gonna jump around to the jungle court area with the ship we're gonna try and tackle things from that end because the thing is clean in here Plus there's an item in the ancient courtyard, so we want the Thorn Jungle Air Dock. Let me see something really quickly, because I don't, I honestly do not remember. Energy cell can be found in the ship once she has the ship grapple beam. Picking up an energy generator in the north jungle court. Okay. So I literally 
I have to go around the jungle port to get it anyway. Everything is going exactly as planned. Okay, well, thinking about thinking about the, the devastation to Brio again, I guess it wasn't so much that the rotation of the planet was stopped as it was because the planet became tidally locked. Which I mean... Still, to affect the rotation of your planet that much... You know, I have to wonder, was it the science? Was it the magic? Was it a combination of both that caused such an extreme effect? Like, what happened? Oh, God. I need to get my jaw looked at. But in any case, we've done all the setup work to get that cell. So, let us... Generate all cell. Okay, so here's where we need to go to pick up the thing. Right. Ice missile, then normal, normal beam shot. total costs a single energy tank. I will take this expansion. Thank you very much. Now let's... Let us be on our way. Really? Another one? Ah, oh, that was a red one, I think. Maybe. It took a lot of damage, I know that much. God, this area is swarming with them! You know what? There. That is it. It is seven o'clock, uh, which means we are done for the evening. I would like to thank everyone so much for stopping by tonight. Um, we're in the final phases of Prime 3. Like I said, I don't know if... I don't know if next week or the week after is going to be the end, but we're very close to the end now. we got to find the last power cells and go to the Valhalla, then go to phase, and it's basically all boss fighting from then on out. Uh, but I want to thank you all so much for coming today. Uh, if you have a few extra bucks and you enjoy what I do, please consider donating to my Extra Life page. It's for a great cause. It goes towards Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, which, uh, you know, they're children's hospitals. And they could use the money. I mean, I think it's a great cause. I consider you to... I, I urge you to consider donate. Yeah, that's that's the phrase. Um, below the video window, you'll find a donation tracker, which will also link you to my Extra Life page. 
Uh, next to that is a Twitter dashboard tracker, which will take you to my Twitter where I post scheduling updates, thoughts on games, maybe a picture or two of my good boy, or just reblogging a picture or two of things I find neat. Um, but, you know, until then, until Thursday, uh, I will see you all later. And I hope you have a good evening. Take care, everybody, and good night.